All right, we're back after traversing the third floor, and look at how far I've gone so far. Like, look at this—it's so massive now. I'm pretty sure it's gonna get even more massive as we progress in this one area. So let us go to the dong room and hopefully finish this floor up so we can finally get to the fourth floor. Act four: Remedy for Intoxication, Part Four. And we're fighting against a rider, assassin, and a caster, which this be perfect for all the egos to burn through. So I'm gonna bring Miss Kira, so uh, Soshin Kiara, well my own one, because I already have one. So I'm gonna need a support for her. Preferably Tomamo, which is perfect right here. Or I already have my own Tomamo, maybe I'll just bring a waiver. And then, bring my own Tom Mamo. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Now I'm going to switch out to Kiara. I really didn't want to upgrade her skill levels, but it should be fine. There we go. Okay. Let's see if I can all... Since we're fighting three servers, they'll probably have break bars and whatnot, so it's gonna be even longer. And hopefully I'll time my skills right and not waste it on the time I need to use my MP on a single turn. So let's see if this gets better. Hopefully. Part 4! This looks to be the end of this floor. Okay, that's far enough. Hmm. Okay, that's far enough. I think we better take it from here, okay? Okay, Matahari. I can't say I prove eavesdropping. One cannot truly immerse the listeners in the tale unless the story is being told face to face. I had no intention of showing myself here. My own purpose was to see that that sort of state of your guests were in. Hmm. My only purpose was to see what sort of state our guests were in. But it was as expected. You may be following the letter of the law, but the spirit is completely absent. You two are no longer Oku's attendants, and the girl only appears to be intoxicated. Well, the jig is up. I'm fast, you figured it out. That's right, the floor hasn't sprung all the way around. <laughs> oh god. <coughs> um, let's go with the second one. Cough. It's hard to believe you made it, made it this far while forsaking drink and banquet alike. How did you do it? If you find it that puzzling, maybe you should have a few drinks yourself. It might even less, at least help you with your worry lines. Hmm. <laughs> if you can't hold your hold your liquor, you could still substitute with a cup of tea and a tasty snack to boot. Earnestness is an abiding quality, but you will never win people over if you don't occasionally have fun with them. Ha! <laughs> I would gladly embolden myself if necessary. I only refrain in order to fill my task of assuring that others drink. I see. <laughs> so you're not here to stop us? But only to see how Master is doing. Why? That makes it sound as though you are more concerned with our current condition than with the fact that you have managed to come so far. Now we have managed to come so far. That in turn suggests that you don't care how far we penetrate into the labyrinth. But only where or not we had been breaking each forest precepts. Yes. Dot dot dot. How did she figure it out? We have already determined that this Oku has connections to the five print precepts. Thus, I will ask you once, Nobutsa, 
Are you certain you do not know Kama's true objective? Whatever hasty reason you have caused you to go to her side, you're still the man once known as Wise Ozu. If there isn't an answer to this mystery, surely you must have realized it. A foolish question if there was one. Even if I had realized her goal, why would I share that information now? Indeed, it would be especially worthless and troublesome to share with the ones clearly more foolish than myself. Oh, well, if you don't want to indulge in the information, I guess it's up to you, but maybe a little, I don't know, story to another uh, no, monologue to, to, of your past deeds or anything? That's like, that sounds like you don't know it. Come on, why don't you just tell us why we're all here then? Whatever this goal is, it is obviously important enough to you to turn us into your pawns and use us to make others to drink. So come on, tell us! After. Hmm. So come on, tell us! After what he put us through, don't we have the right to know? Don't make me repeat myself. The signs are already there. What signs? If you still fail to understand, it's only because you have overlooked them. At this point, I can do little I can do little else but laugh. Wait. What? Still, I am glad that I no longer need to talk around the precepts. That will make things much simpler for me. There is only one thing this floor requires of you, intoxication. Fail the drink to accept to access, and you will die. You may have been able to deceive everything else on this floor, but you have no ex no such luck with these guards. Oh hi. Oh my, two of them? Really? This isn't that a bit excessive? At this point, they're probably need to up their game, so I guess they need to be much more excessive. This is certainly one way to enforce your mandate of intoxication, but it is so... inelegant. <sighs> it left me so turned off. Nomata, if you wish to share what you know, then we have nothing more to discuss. Stand down, or be slain. Of course, I will stand down. It is not my job to fight you, but theirs. But first, let me warn you of just one more thing, so to avoid any more child foolish questions. This lesson is futile. Really, truly futile. None of you can hope to defy Lady Kama. Are you sure about that? This very oak was made for you to succumb. Sooner or later, you'll find yourself unable to progress, unless you give in to the parity. Not on my watch. Dot dot dot. After all, who do you think plays these corridors and staircases to begin with? It's only thanks to these staircases that you are able to make your way further and further inside. The way. The way down could have been a pitfall or a line of spears, but instead, you're merely connect content with stairs. Why? Because that is what Lady Common decided. There is no greater significance, nor does there need to be. This is no different. Lady Common decided all these paths ahead of time, and there is no way you can go against them. Where there's a will, there's a way, and I will find a way to defeat her. Once you decide to delve into the Oku, Lady Kamas already had you exactly where she wanted. All you can do now is resign yourself to your fate. Not on my watch, I will defy fate if I have to. Ah! You just did it again! How dare you say your piece and walk off without giving us a chance to respond? I know I raised you better than that. Get back here! Hmm. 
Get back here now, Nobunitsa, or you'll be going bed without your supper again. Um, uh, Kasuga, I know you used to uh, take care of him as a child, but at this point, I don't think you'll be worrying about going to bed without supper at this point. Especially now, we need to contend with these two rates right in front of us. As I expected, it would be it would seem to have no choice but to defeat these creatures before we can proceed. Given that we need to kill everything on sight at this point. Shikigero is not meant for parlor tricks, but it should be well suited to bring the festivities to an end. Here here, Yagu, here here. Even though I'm not using you for this fight. Man. I wish there's a way to like customize the your MPs for your servants. So say instead of making them single target, make it AOE. Oh, okay, so they don't have break bars. Okay, that's good to know. So let's target the this one. Get some buffing for Kirawa. Do it. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Do -do -do. I really wish this um, Inori skills is also like instead of like the quick down, maybe you can change it up to be a arch down instead. That's like, mm, I wish that was the case, but again, I don't want to keep using it because this bar cage will go up all the way. But granted, you can always fix, you can always reduce it later on, but still. Keep up and defense down, buff for everyone. Okay. Let's use that attack up. Okay. Let's wreck face. I wish that um, Kiara has like a. Um, what was that skill? The one that. Um, Increase AV charge every time you attack a target. Kind of what Seek has. I wish she had something in her kit for that one. Then she would be a complete true spammer for an MP. For granted, you just need supports to do that. Like cast their toil and you can get later on. Oh nice, we killed one of them at least. Doing the typical thing. All right, time to get this. Uh, should I do it on the second one? Because it's like almost low in health. Come on, fully charge. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Get wrecked, bitches. <laughs> There are times I really wish I had. I'm kind of happy at Kira, but there are times before when I first got her, she was really not that good to get. But thank God they improved her kiss down the line. Get wrecked, bitches. And she'll get even much better once Castori comes out. Oh boy. It's like right now I'm pretty content with Sieg, but if I combine Castori with Sieg, his MP um, recovery every time he uses MP would be so much sweeter. Granted, I couldn't use that Mystic Code that gives you a one turn MP, um, MP charge regen for every time you attack. But as of right now, I'm trying to level up that mystical you get from Lost Belt 1. Because that's pretty much an upgrade from your default mystic code. Hey, another memory. Let's, what's it this time? <clears throat> oh, nothing? That's pretty quick. Yoshi Nume. Mune. M Yoshi Mune? Yeah, Yoshi Mune. I know that name. It belongs to the beloved Aravan boy. Yoshi, 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 hmm. Yoshi Mune. Yoshi Mune. Yoshi Mune. Yoshi Mune. Come on, say that a thousand times and I finally get it right. He's a very good king. 
He did have a bad habit of dressing up like a commoner and sleeping out of his castle. Hmm. But that is nothing His Highness Harun al Rashid had not done before either. Perhaps that is just how people of noble birth like to relax. Especially if they want to be too tense. It's like, ah, I have to do it every day. And then afterwards, it's like, no. It's kind of like you have to... It's kind of like when you celebrate all the time and you're getting stressed of all the etiquette and everything, you just want to unwind. That's like one way of doing it in the olden times, but nowadays it's like even though you're like a super famous person and you want to unwind, you just go to somewhere where no one finds you. Anyway, it looks like there's no one stopping us from moving to the next floor now. That's good. Hang on just a little more, Master, and I'll do the drunken state once we get there. Okay? Alright, Matahari. I am not drunk! I am not! <laughs> Sounds like something someone who drunk off their ass would say. <laughs> God damn it. If my theory is correct, then we have two large floors ahead of us, one of each of them remaining precepts. That would put us to the home stretch from our little marathon session, so to speak. Do be careful, everyone. Okay. And we got the new fill box, even though we didn't find the memory in it. The H Shogunate Tokuga Yoshumune Inoru. Hey, I actually I, I actually said I'm um, correct once without um, mu uh, muffering it out. <laughs> And a sink quartz! Whoop, whoop. And of course, the lantern, as always. Okay, let's go further down to the fourth floor. Well, actually. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna go one floor down and probably end the recording here. Uh, okay, so I'll do this. And then I'll end the end recording. Tokugawa Restoration Labyrinth, Act Five: The Key to Steel, Part One. Earlier, I'm getting this like another flashback for Gordo. Well, here I am, all by my tipsy self again. Where did those ladies farming over me go? Now, I am lonely. But, this is also the exit opportunity. Now I can chew ahead alone. After all, there is a paradise waiting for me. Um, Gordov, I. I think you're forgotten the reason why you're here in the first place. It's not to indulge yourself, it's just to find a way out. That is Oku, a place where every pleasure in the world can be found under one roof. I don't have to do any obligations here, and I can do whatever I please. It's all just for me! I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Grr. That said, there's certainly a lot of locked doors on this floor. What's going on here anyway? Hmm? Is that a key to just drop? I wonder if... It worked! This really is my lucky day! Hmm, another over there? Hmm. Hmm, another door over there. I'm sure it was locked, just like the others. But, clever as I am, I already figured out that the pattern. No doubt she has the key. Unfortunately, I'm almost out of combat crap essence now. That's The smart thing to do is really get hold of, the, of that key without fighting her. And how are you gonna do that? And of course, I am not nothing more of a smart. Um, mm. And of course, I am nothing if not smart. I might, I might not be great at stealthing spells, 
But let's see what happens. Yoink. God damn it. Ha ha ha! I knew a man of my brilliance would pull it off. Not bad at all for my first time. I'm pretty sure she could sense you and just let you take it in regardless of being stealthy. I dare say Robin Hood himself could have done it better. Perhaps I maxed out my deck step without even realizing it. God damn it, Gordo. Alright, let's keep this up. If I run into any more locked doors, I know exactly what to do. And that is, feel good? Hmm. Ah, this feels good. What a wonderful place. I knew there was nowhere better than the Oku. But then, I suppose it's only to be expected. Only the Shogun is welcome in the Oku, and all of its pleasures are reserved solely for him. And since I'm here, I must be the Shogun, so of course I would feel good while I'm here. Oh god, this is how he transforms into be a dictator Shogun. Alright, Gordov. I think it looks like we need to have a little talk. Okay, I think this is a good way to end this recording session for this one since I finally reached the 4th floor of this dungeon and speaking of which, I need to take a small break, get some drinks, maybe go to the bathroom and then resume another recording but a short recap on this recording is that Gordo, on every floor we've seen memories of him and slowly but surely he's deciding to be a dictator, Shogunate, which is a kind of a bad thing. Well then again, he's kind of like that until Dale but not to the extreme. But regardless, we need to find him, slap some silly sense into him and get him back normal and of course beat Kama and finally finish this event before it officially ends in 6 days. Which is a little bit cutting it close but I made some good progress today so I'm just happy I finally reached the 4th floor so I could easily ease up and recording a little bit and make and get ease up in recording and finally edit some of the past recordings on this in this event in general because some of them are in my backlog and I need to get some of them um, I need to work on them get them rendered and finally up them upload them to YouTube so with that being said this has been Ravensleep45 keep getting everyone and have a pleasant afternoon day